Hey everyone, my name is Andrea. Although you can switch between business process flows using the top ribbon, let's learn how to dynamically switch between business process flows based on a field selection. We'll be using JavaScript and adding it as a web resource. So let's get started. By the end of this video, we're gonna be able to switch between these this business process flow by selecting either family vacation and it changes it to family vacation VPF or business travel, business travel VPF. The first thing you want to do is create two different business process flows that you will be able to switch between. So we'll go into our trip planner solution. Um, I usually just go to the all section. I'll click new automation process business process flow will give your business process flow a name and click create. So since we're going to base our business process flows based off of a specific field, we're gonna go ahead and use this trip type option field to trigger the switch between the business process flow. So if the user selects business travel, a specific business process flow will be displayed. And if the user selects family vacation, another business process flow will be displayed. So I gave my first business process flow, business travel name, and I clicked create. So now I'm in the business process flow user interface. So I'll just start creating new steps here. I'm just going to add a few fields to each step. I'll give this a name. In no particular order really just to show you how to switch between flows. And I'll go ahead and save and activate. Once you've activated your flow, you're going to want to go up to the address bar and grab this GUID. This is what we're going to be using to distinguish between the two business process flows. Just copy this and keep it somewhere safe for when we go into Visual Studio Code and start adding the logic in there. So follow the same steps for the other um, option here. So for me, it's family vacation. I added step one, step two, and I'm going to do the same and grab that GUID from the top and keep it somewhere safe for later. So now we can go back to the Dataverse and see that we have both business process flows and they're both turned on. So now we're going to go ahead and grab the value for the trip type option for both business travel and vacation. So go, we'll go into the trip table here, go under columns and look for that trip type option. Let's open it up. Since it is a choice field, it's going to have a value. I'll go ahead and edit this choice to grab that value. And same that we did with the GUID. We're going to just grab those values and put them somewhere uh, where we can grab them later for the code. So for me, business travel equals one and family vacation equals two. So I'll put those in um, my notes here. So once you've grabbed those values, you also want to go back to the column that you're going to be using and you're going to want to grab this logical name here at the bottom and keep it in the same place that you've kept all of the other um, uh, IDs. So now we want to pull up Visual Studio Code. And if you don't have Visual Studio Code installed on your machine, um, I have linked the video where I walk through how to download Visual Studio Code for your computer. Um, and I will go ahead and copy and paste this code in the description of this video. Um, but I've kind of 
added all of my saved um, IDs here in this um, um, script. So here at the top, I have my business process flow for business travel. I This is the ID for it. The same thing for family vacation. I have my ID and my IDs for the trip type option value. So for business travel is one, family vacation is two. I have named my function trip type BPF and I have added my logical name that we just grabbed inside of the string here. Um, down here in the condition, we have added the trip type for business travel, the value here, and we have added the business process flow ID here at the top as well as here on the second line here. The same thing for family vacation. So if you just want to copy and paste this, take a screenshot of this and use it for your uh, logic, uh, feel free to do that. So save this as a JavaScript file. I named mine business process flow switch JS. And we're going to go back to Power Apps and we will go down to Web Resources. And we'll go ahead and click new. Select web resource, choose the file and add it here. Your web resource should look something like this and you're gonna click save. Now we wanna add this function to the trip form so that it changes based on onload and on change. So we're going to go to the trip form and open up the form that we want this business process flow to work in. All right, so once you're in the form, the entire form should be highlighted in purple. You're going to go over to the events and you're going to open up the onload. You're going to create a new event handler for your uh, trip type BPF function. So you're going to select onload up here in the trip and you're going to uh, add the library if you haven't already done so. You'll search your um, web resource from here and then add it. And then once you've added it, you'll select it from this library. You'll take the function from your code, this function right here. You'll copy that and paste it in this function input bar and then you'll select enabled as well as pass execution context as first parameter, select done. And then you're going to select the actual field that's going to do the on change. So for me, it's trip type option. I'll go over to events. I'll click on new event handler. I'll select the on change. I'll select the business process flow switch library paste the function and select both of these here as well. Go ahead and publish. Now you'll want to activate these two business process flows in your app designer. So you'll go into your model driven app. This is probably the easiest way to do it. And you'll click up here in the name of your model driven app. You'll click these three dots and you'll say open in app designer. I like to go back to the classic version, so I'll switch to classic. You'll see this business process flows here. You'll select it so it's green and you'll just check off the two business process flows that you have recently created. You'll save, publish, and then you'll click play. This will open up the model driven app. I'll go ahead and select new here. Oops, give this a name. And then go down here. Business travel is selected by default, but if I change it to family vacation, it will refresh and you'll see family vacation business process flow. If I go back and select business travel, it will refresh again and change the business process flow to business travel. And that's how you switch between business process flows dynamically based on a field value. 
Thanks for watching.